Hello friends, my name is Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is assembler. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in computer and uh, you want to learn about it. So let's start, friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. So friend, assembler is basically, if you see the term assembler, so that means a thing which is assembling the things. Now, if you just see the figure here, assembler is basically a software program which takes the input of source code of assembly language and convert into a machine language or you can say the zero and one form. So basically if you see from here, assembler is simply a software program which is taking a source code uh, from uh, of the assembly language and convert into a object code or machine language code. Assembler are sometimes referred to as the compiler of assembly language as well. It provides the services of the interpreter as well. Assembler enables software and application developers to access, operate and manage computer hardware, architecture and components as well. Now if we talk about in detail, basically uh, assembly language now we have to understand what is assembly language but in assembly language is a low level language it gives instruction of the processor for different tasks it is specific for any processor the machine language normally uh, written in the uh, zero and ones and it directly talk or communicate with the hardware so that's why it is very fast however it is very difficult to write a code in the assembly language as well because it's not very user friendly and it's not very easy to write a code here however the advantages of assembly language is that it is a low level language of machine language which means the zeros and ones and it is very fast to execute a code because it directly talk to the uh, hardware print assembler are uh, primarily serves as the bridge between the uh, the code source text file source here and the binary machine language binary means zeros and ones uh, like memory and other components of the computer assembler works by assembling and converting the source code of assembly language into object code or an object file that constitutes an a stream of zeros and ones of the machine code okay now the types of assembler there are mainly two types of assembly assembler and one pass assembler and the multi pass or you can say the two pass assembler the one pass assembler means the assembler performs the whole conversion of the assembly code of the machine in one go so whenever we talking about one pass or two pass this is main mainly means that the conversion of source code to assembly language or machine language is basically in one pass if it is in one pass so that means it is a one pass assembler if it is multi pass are there like uh, two pass or more than two pass so that means uh, the it is called as the multi pass assembler here now uh, what does it mean by pass actually pass means that conversion of source code to the machine language code or zeros and ones multi pass assemblers uh, first process the assembly code and store values in the op code table and symbol table and then in the second step they generate the machine code using the table uh, the basically the table opt code table they store the values of the uh, memories and their corresponding numeric values symbol table they store the value of a programming language symbols used by the programmer and their corresponding numeric values and the location counter it stores the stress address of the location where the current instruction will be stored now we can talk about the advantages of the assembler first one is the speed uh, why speed because friend uh, the assembly language is very fast because it's uh, it is based on the machine language code machine means zeros and ones and machine language code is basically directly talk with the communicate with the hardware so that is why the speed is very very fast of the assembly language but speed means processing of the program now control assembler programs allow developers to have greater control of the hardware because again you are talking or communicating directly with the computer with the hardware so the control on the hardware is very uh, vast size assembly language programs can be smaller in size than programs 
because it doesn't have any UI based uh, information you can say basically it's, it's talking directly to the hardware devices so uh, normally the size of the assembly program is less portability means that assembly programs can be more portable than programs written in high level languages like Java C++ because they do not depend on the specific libraries or runtime environments uh, learning assemblies can be a useful tool for learning about computer architecture and components accessibility it is more accessible than machine language now uh, the disadvantages uh, friend it is very difficult to write a code in the uh, assembler it's not very easy it's not easy to write a code in the assembly language assembly programs are often more difficult to read as well again the concept is that uh, because it is in the uh, assembly language assembly programs are generally slow and less efficient than programs written in the high level, like level language and compiled into machine code assembly programs are machine dependent meaning they can only be run on the specific type of computer assembly programs are more prone to errors and bugs uh, than the program written in a high level language as they require the programmer to manually hand over low level details of the computer architecture so basically friend assembler are basically simply uh, source taking the input of the source assembly code okay and uh, then uh, after processing it will produce the low level language or machine language code uh, zeros and ones so this is the main uh, concept of the assembler assembler is you can just think of assembler as a compiler for the for the assembly language is simply you just remember one thing that assembler is the compiler of the assembly language and assembly language is a hardware language which we use for management and uh, tackling the hardware which is zeros and ones so friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for uh, watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video